Hello and welcome back with another informative video and a major breakthrough in nuclear energy. This time we are back with, Nuclear Fusion. Most of us have already enough knowledge about nuclear fusion. But those who does not know that what is nuclear fusion? Here is a quick overview of nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion is the energy mechanism that powers stars in space. But recreating it on Earth could lead to an endless supply of low-carbon, low-radiation energy. Nuclear fusion occurs when two atoms join, resulting in a heavier atom and a massive energy release. The process is widespread in nature but extremely difficult to mimic in laboratories. Owing to the need for an extremely high-energy environment to ensure the reaction continues. So, what is the major breakthrough in the nuclear fusion? Scientists have confirmed that on August 8, 2021, they were able to ignite the same chemical process. That powers the sun by pouring more electricity into a small gold capsule than the whole US electric system. The force of 192 laser beams sparked the same thermonuclear fire that powers the sun for a fraction of a second, which is truly mind-boggling. The breakthrough in fusion power means we're now closer than ever to harnessing chemical reactions with enough force to power the sun, which generates energy by throwing hydrogen atoms together, generating helium in the process. It's also worth noting that the fusion reaction created by scientists was self-sustaining, which means it didn't fade out instantly. The experiment was carried out by the National Ignition Facility at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California. And it is described in three new papers, one in Physical Review Letters and two in Physical Review E. While the research papers claim that researchers achieved ignition, implying that nuclear fusion is viable, a real fusion reactor is still a long way off. If scientists are successful in developing fully functional fusion power plants, the sites would generate vast amounts of electricity by using hydrogen from water as fuel. This implies that the only waste created is helium, and the risk of radiation is eliminated. In comparison, modern nuclear power plants generate electricity through nuclear fission, which is accomplished by separating the nuclei of heavy materials such as uranium. Last year's experiment used almost a quadrillion watts of power. A massive quantity of energy produced for only a fraction of a second. The record shot represented a tremendous scientific accomplishment in fusion research, establishing that fusion ignition in the lab is viable at NIF, said Omar Hurricane. Chief Scientist for Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory's Inertial Confinement Fusion Program. Achieving the conditions required for ignition has been a long-standing aim for all inertial confinement fusion research, he noted. And opens the door to a new experimental domain where alpha particle self-heating outstrips all cooling mechanisms in the fusion plasma. Previously, European scientists described entering a new domain as a result of a breakthrough in their goal to produce practical nuclear fusion. Scientists at the Joint European Taurus Laboratory in Oxfordshire have been working for nearly 40 years to replicate nuclear fusion, and recently broke their own world record for the amount of energy extracted by squeezing two kinds of hydrogen together. The technique is based on the idea that by compressing together atomic nuclei, energy can be liberated. Gravitational pressures allow this to happen at roughly 10 million degrees Celsius in the Sun's core, but on Earth. The temperatures required to generate fusion would be around 100 million degrees Celsius. To create fusion in a lab, scientists devised a method that includes a superheated gas, or plasma, being held inside a donut-shaped magnetic field. That's all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel. Like and share the videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon.